Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a slope, aspect, hill shade and contour map in ArcGIS. So let's get started. So first we need to open our ArcGIS software. So here you can able to visualize this is our digital elevation model. So I have downloaded uh, this SRTM dem from uh, USGS Earth Explorer. The link will be given in the description to how to download an SRTM dem from USGS Earth Explorer. So I have downloaded and clipped using my study region that is our study area boundary. So now go to the Arc Toolbox. So that is available here, Arc Toolbox. So it is our Arc Toolbox. In that go to the tool name called as a Spatial Analysis Tool. So this is our Spatial Analysis Tool. So click this. So in the Spatial Analysis Tool, we're going to select this particular tool called, uh, tool called Surface. So now we can able to visualize the surface. So in that we're going to select, so in that we're going to select this uh, tool called aspect. So now let me click this. So now you can visualize this is our aspect tool. So now in the aspect are uh, given some information about the aspect tool. It derives an aspect from the surface raster as the aspect identifies the downslope direction, the maximum rate of change in the values from each cell to its neighbor. So aspects can be uh, thought of uh, as a slope of direction. The value of the output raster will be of uh, compass direction of the aspect. So now let us input our uh, dem data. So now let me click this dem. So now let me select my output file location. So now I have selected my output file location. So now click OK. So now we have our uh, aspect uh, raster. So you can able to visualize the details of our uh, aspect raster so now we can able to visualize here the age of the color represents the the direction of our uh, direction of our raster for example you can able to visualize here the red color here represents our north direction and the orange here represents our that is northeast direction likewise each of the color here in this raster which represents the, the direction which is clearly indicated here and even here this particular color the black color here represents a flat surface. Likewise, each of the color represents the different direction. So now let me explain about the aspect raster. So aspect raster refers to the direction of the slope orientation of particular location on the Earth's surface. It is typically measured in degree clockwise from north and with the north being 0 degrees and the east being the 90 degrees and the south being of 180 degrees and the west being around 270 degree. So aspect raster provides a data provides valuable information about the direction in which the slope faces which can be important for various application for example in hydrology and uh, ecology and uh, land use planning and the, even in uh, solar energy so aspect plays a vital role in these applications so next we're going to proceed towards our slope so go to the arc toolbox section so in surface in surface tool we're going to select a uh, tool called slope so basically, the, it identifies a slope that is a gradient or the rate of maximum change in Z value from uh, each cell of uh, raster surface. So now let me explain about the slope raster. So it provides some information about the steepness or the inclination of the terrain at each location in a geographic area. The slope is a fundamental topographic attributes that describes how quickly the elevation of the land surface changes from a one point to another. It is typically measured in degree or in percentage. So now let me in, uh, insert my, uh, that is my dem data. So in input raster, we're going to select the down arrow. We're going to select this dem and choose your output location. So now I selected my output file location. So now here in slope tool, we can able to uh, visualize there is two, uh, two different uh, output measurements. So one is in uh, degree and the second one is in percentage rise. So now let me explain about this output measurement. So in RGI software, generally the slope can be represented in degree and in the percentage rise. So let me explain about the slope in degree. So slope in degree represents the ste steepness of the terrain in angular uh, degrees. It measures the angle of inclination from the horizontal plane. A slope of zero degree indicates a flat or a horizontal surface, while the steeper slope have a higher degrees. So to calculate the slope and degree in RGIS, so you can use our uh, slope tool in spatial analysis tool, which computes the slope of each cell in digital elevation model. 
and uh, model raster and generates a new raster where the each cell contains the slope value in degree. So in case of slope and percentage rise, the slope and percentage rise is also known as slope or the percent grade. It represents that the steepness of terrain as a percentage. It indicates the vertical rise in elevation for every 100 units of horizontal distance. For example, the 10 percentage slope means that for every 100 meters of horizontal distance, the elevation rise by 10 meters. So similarly, to cal calculate the slope percentage in RGS, we're going to use a similar slope tool in spatial analyst. We're going to select the percentage rise. So to generate the slope and percentage rise. So this, this is the two output measurement in slope tool. One is in degree and the second one in, in the percentage rise. So now let me get back to our RGIS. So now let me select the output measurement uh, in uh, percentage rise. So I've saved my, to my output file location. Now click OK. So now this is our uh, slope raster in percentage rise. So you can visualize the value here. So here there is a number of classes or around nine different classes. So you can also go to the right click this layer and go to the properties. So in that we can suppose if you want to reduce the number of classes, you can choose this particular option classes in that you can reduce the number of classes to five or uh, three is up to your choice. So now click OK to reduce the number of classes. So now uh, next we're going to calculate our uh, contour. So for that go to the arc toolbox. So in that we're going to select uh, the contour, the contour tool. Just double click. So now you can able to visualize our contour tool. So uh, explanation about us is create a line feature classes of contour from a raster surface. So contour generally is represented as uh, an imaginary line with uh, imaginary line that connects the point of equal elevation. So it represents a contour. So here the contour, ta contour tool is used to for uh, creating uh, contour lines from an elevation or raster data. The contour lines are the lines that connected uh, points of equal elevation on the surface such as the topographic map. These lines help to represent the three dimensional shape of the terrain on a two dimensional map making it easier to visualize and analyze the landscape. So the contour lines are useful for various applications including cartography, land use planning, environmental analysis and geological studies. So they provide a visualization, a visual representation of the terrain features and uh, can be combined with other spatial data for more in-depth uh, analysis and mapping. So now this is our uh, contour tool. So we're going to input our, uh, we're going to input our data that is our dim data. So next choose the output file location. So now I've selected my output file location. So next we're going to enter the contour interval around 400. So I've entered the contour interval as 400. Now click OK. So now we can able to visualize our contour. Let me turn off the other layers. So now we can able to visualize our uh, contour. So now go to the contour layer, right click and go to the properties. So in that go to the option called symbology. So basically we're going to classify our contour for that go to the option called quantities. So in that we can able to visualize in the graduated colors. We can in the field section, in the field value, we're going to select the contour. So now you can able to visualize the contour has been basically classified into uh, 800 from 800 to 1200. So you can also change the color of this color ramp. So uh, you can just change the color by going to this option called color ramp. So you can uh, select the color of your choice. So now I have selected the color here. So now you can be able to visualize it now. So now click OK. So now you can able to clearly able to observe the age of the contour has been contour interval has been uh, in classified into different colors. So now let us uh, label this right click and go to the option called label features. So now you can able to visualize it. So currently it represents uh, the object ID value. So for that, go to the contour layer, right click and go to the property section. So in labels uh, in the properties, uh, select in the label section. So in that you can able to visualize the label field. It is currently in ID. So now let me select the contour. So now click OK. So now you can able to visualize the contour values now. So it's clearly able to, uh, you can able to visualize it. Each of the color has its own uh, classified contour values. 
So next we're gonna generate our hill shed map. For that go to the arc tool box again. So in that we're gonna select in the surface raster in surface tool we're gonna in that we're gonna select the hill shed tool. So double click. So you can visualize our hill shade tool. So it creates a shaded relief from a, a surface raster by considering the, the illumination source angle and the shadows. So now let me explain about this tool. So here the hill shade is a visualization technique used in uh, geographical information systems. So like RGIS to represent the three dimensional topography of the landform uh, landscapes on a two dimensional map. It stimulates the shading of the terrain features based on the position of an uh, the hypothetical light source providing a realistic and a visual appealing representation of the terrain relief. So the application of uh, for hill shade in RGIS, so the cartographic representation and environmental analysis and visibility analysis and last aesthetic uh, representation. Like uh, hill shade can be used to create a visually appealing maps and a 3D visualization for the for representations and reports. So now we are in hill shade. So we're gonna select our dim data. So in input raster, click this down arrow. We're gonna select our dim data. Now choose your output file location. So now click save. And now click OK. So now you can able to visualize this is our hill shade. Let me turn off this contour. So now you can able to visualize our uh, so now we can also change the color just by going to this option and you can choose your desired color of your choice and you're going to select and uh, click OK. So for this we're going to live to the default color. So now let us visualize the other values here. So this is our contour and this is our slope and uh, this is our aspect. So in this video I have shown you how to create an aspect, slope and contour and hill shade map using our digital elevation model which is available in usgs earth explorer and the link for link to download uh, for how to download the srtm dem from usgs earth explorer will be given in the description so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like